911, what is your emergency? Hey y'all, so basically, I got this dumbass bitch. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to the darkest sunrise. Okay, girl, listen. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. I hope that I'm focused because the other day I filmed a video um, and I, I filmed 16 minutes of footage. Absolutely just blurred. Let me turn off the fan or turn it down. Hold on, I'll be back. Turn it down because it's hot up in this bitch, but listen, we have to have a conversation today. Thank you for 268 subscribers. I absolutely love and adore all of you, but listen, we're about to just hop right up into this story because listen, it's just, it's annoying and we, it's about Tiffany. What? Who would have thought? It's also about Bo's crusty ass too. Like this whole situation was absolutely so uncalled for, ridiculous, and let's just let's just get into this okay this boy we will call him um marcus okay and when i told you that this boy marcus like would do anything for a girl like was so down for me like he would if i needed money if i needed food if i needed rides anything marcus would be there period 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 period, period. period. he was clutch he was amazing love marcus hope he's doing great in life whatever okay so marcus had a son okay and me and Marcus were supposed to hang out one night. I just wanted to get out of the house, but he had his son. Now, his son knew that we were friends, and his son was old enough to understand, like, daddy has friends. Like, it was no weird shit like that. And so I told him, I was like, okay, well, like, we could just reschedule for a different day if you wanted to, like, hang out, like, after he goes to bed, whatever. It's up to you. Now, first of all, now that I have a child, I am never about to bring nobody. Like, I knew him, so it's I guess it's different. Like, me and him were actual friends. But, like... I'm never about to bring just no, like, I don't know. I'm never about to bring no random ass man over while my child is sleeping. That's weird as fuck. But, like, you get the gist, okay? I'm making a plan to hang out that night, and he comes to pick me up. We grab some alcohol. Um, we I think it was, like, some Mike's Hards or something. Something super, like, light and, like, pissy, okay? And he's like, okay, like, I'm gonna put my son to bed, and then we can end up, like, playing. I think we played, like, beer pong and, like, cards is what we were supposed to play that night. And what we did play, end up playing for like two fucking hours because there was so much fucking drama that ended up happening that fucking night, okay? He ends up picking me up and we end up going to um, his house. And we go in, he he tells his son like, okay, like you have this amount of time to hang out with us and then it's time for bed. And his son is like super chill, so he's like, okay, whatever, like, that's fine. And me and him and his son are like all sitting there talking and like hanging out. Mind you, earlier in that day, Tiffany had been texting me about how her and Bo had gotten into this situation and like she was done with him for good this time and let me tell you her and Bo broke up so many freaking times and when I say so many freaking times they were so toxic they bickered they argued they did such toxic like terrible things to each other they were just uh, they were not meant to be at all okay and so her and Bo were just, just it was all, a whole lot of this okay and there was a point in time where I was like supportive of her decisions whenever she would want to leave him but there was a, there came a point in time where I was like girl you're not fi you're not gonna leave him so who cares and even if you do like you're gonna leave him for two weeks and then you're gonna be back together so the shit that I'm talking about him what does it even matter if you're gonna be back with him next week like it was literally just so ridiculous and so it was just the most toxic bullshit ever. They had just been arguing just back and forth, arguing like cats and freaking dogs, just being ridiculous and fighting, bickering all the time. But the thing is like, their like, their bickering goes to the depths of hell. Like they cannot just have an argument and wake up in the morning and talk it out. They are like fighting, screaming, breaking things, like all, all of the, the extraness of it all. And so I end up getting a text from her and she's like i i need to talk to you it's an emergency i really need to talk to you like there's some stuff going on with Bo, and i just I, I really need to talk to you like it's important and bro when i tell you that like i rolled my eyes <laughs> immediately because i'm a cold-hearted bitch it wasn't because like i'm like oh ben, fend for yourself figure it out yourself like i don't care like it wasn't like i was a bad friend because girl i rode for that girl time and time again even when she did not deserve it okay stupid and even in the situation i rode for her and she did not fucking deserve it okay and so um she's like i need to talk to you basically and so i tell marcus i'm like hey i'm about to go um i'm about to go outside real quick i gotta i gotta make a phone call Tiffany, she is the ex-best friend from all of those terrible story times if, if you're new to this channel and also Bo is her ex-boyfriend okay who i've also had story times about because she used to accuse me of trying to sleep with him too which listen 
I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I had space and opportunity to do her as dirty as she did me. Space and opportunity. Bo has tried to hit it quite a few times, okay, on the low and in front of her fucking face, and I still didn't do that shit. But let's. I digress. Let's keep going. I, I end up heading outside and I call her and I'm like what's going on and she's just like listen like I don't I don't know like I told Bo that like I'm done like I told him like I'm tired of all of this like I know that he wants to be with me and like maybe we could just answer the question okay please don't play with me right now just no that's it please let's not please like, all this dramatic like tell me what the fuck is going on tell me tell me what's going on okay cut the shit what's going on and she's just like oh well he texted me and like he was telling me that he he's like depressed and like he wants to like okay you know what I mean like unalive himself like and he's like saying all of these things and like he told me that he wants to wrap him wrap his truck around a tree and like because nobody cares about him and I'm just so worried and like blah, blah, blah. and I, I listen I understand I understand being worried about somebody threatening their life but bitch he threatened his life three times last week can we be serious can we be so for real time that like he had to do the dishes oh I just feel I just feel a, a little offish I, I want to off myself like he had to do something that he didn't want to do I'm, I'm offing myself like oh my god my life is so terrible like literally like as soon as as soon as you held him accountable he was offing himself so why are we acting like this time is going to be any different than the other times and I get it, like, it could be a different time, but, like, in my mind, I'm, like, I'm trying, like, I'm hanging out with Marcus to get away from y'all. Like, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to deal with your bullshit while I'm hanging out with other people. And so, bro, I was so irritated. I was so fucking mad, but I was like, you know what? Okay. Okay. Just, just keep, keep telling you what's going on. Like, he, he's, he's saying all of these things. Like, is he texting me? Like, he's clearly not wrapped around a tree right now if he's texting me and she's just like yeah I know but like I'm just nervous like I'm scared that he is going to like do something to himself like can you call the cops <laughs> <laughs> oh don't cry are you why what do I look like a dispatcher like why would I call the cop why would I be why are you calling me to call the cops like when you have a whole phone that you're calling me from right now okay mind you she never really had that shit paid out but you're calling me off of this phone right now so um and also it, it, it it's free the free 99 to call the police why am i calling the police for you and she bro she's like i just don't want him to call i don't want to call the police because like i just don't want him to be mad at me like i don't want him to know that i called if i'm telling the police if i'm calling the police all right and telling the police that your boyfriend or ex-boyfriend said that he wanted to wrap himself around a tree like wrap his truck around a tree and that nobody cares about him and all of these terrible awful things okay if i call the police and relay that message to them even if they say oh it wasn't tiffany whatever the fuck who called like he's gonna know he's gonna know that you told somebody to call so like what, what like what is the point of me calling i just don't understand stupid i'm like what am i going to really do at this like what is what's the difference in me calling and you calling she's like please like just please call like please and i honestly feel like like she like I know that she's gone through things in her life. I know that she's gone through things that she has not deserved at all in her life. And, you know, like, I get that people go through things, but, like, I think that, like, honestly, she turned, like, a victim mindset into, like, a lifestyle. And so she was always trying to find a situation where she was a victim. She was always trying to find a situation where she, like, somebody needed to rescue her, somebody needed to save her. And she would often turn to me, like, okay, save me from this situation so that I can't, like, if I can't get attention from, like, these boys that are out here, like, at least you give me attention. Somebody's gonna give me attention like she was so like dramatic bro and i thought i was dramatic okay i really did but like the <laughs> she was dramatic and so bro i'm like listen fine and 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 against my better judgment i'm like whatever i will call the i will call the the, the popo for you I'll, I'll hit up 12 and be like hey this guy is like lying but my friend is scared i call them and i don't say this guy is lying but my friend is scared because he could be actually serious he could be like for, for real about his shit which he wasn't but um he could be really trying to like unalive himself and so um I end up calling the cops okay I dial 911 well first I end up going in and telling Marcus like I'm gonna be a minute like there's so much fucking bullshit going on like 911 what is your emergency hey y'all so basically I got this dumbass bitch let me go but basically my friend's ex-boyfriend is threatening to do um very bad things to himself he's th he's 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 talking a lot of junk and like i need somebody to check on him like gave them the make the model 
all of these different things like um all, all, all like all of these all of this different information about him actually back at the fuck up before I before I gave I called the police and gave them naked model and everything I had attempted to contact him and be like listen bro like what the fuck is going on I'm trying to mediate because first of all it was like literally mediating between two fucking toddlers I'm like listen y'all need to chill out like it's really not that serious calm down whatever he is giving me the same fucking energy like the same the same energy okay and he's like I'm just I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it I'm just nobody cares about me anyway like nobody cares like she doesn't care like you're the one messaging me right now she should be messaging me all this different like bullshit okay child absolutely child absolutely please okay and so this man he's he's just saying the same shit I'm like listen if you're gonna keep acting like this I'm gonna handle this the way that I want to handle this like this is gonna be handled correctly if you want to keep talking shit if you want to keep acting like you're gonna do something to yourself I'm gonna handle this the way that it used to be handled and that's like bitch I'm calling the popo and he thought I was he thought I was like joking and I'm sorry but sir but I'm dead ass said but I'm so for real okay the cops like okay well like has he had these types of situations before and I'm like yeah but like also they fight a lot and I, I'm telling him the truth the cop I'm telling all of him I'm telling him all of the truth like he's this guy's volatile like this guy has fought like this guy has done a whole bunch of crazy shit so if y'all find him I don't know if he's gonna be off something or if he's gonna be like just chill I don't know what the situation is gonna be I just know that he's in out here like threatening and the cops like okay like thank you for your information we'll take it down we'll go and we'll look for him and so bro I go back inside and I'm thinking okay like I can now finally relax and like have my time with my friend Marcus bro mm, did you know that did you know that that was not what happened because why would that be what, why 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 would that be what happened I gotta I gotta ring a ding ding on my phone and girl why is it Tiffany reluctantly I answer the phone because maybe they found him maybe like not badly but maybe because I knew nothing was happening to this man but I was like maybe they found his car and maybe they like took him in maybe he got 302 because bitch he needed it like maybe like something happened and so I answer the phone and I'm like hey and she's like hey immediately I'm like oh this is about, like you're about to be on you're really about to piss me off right now she's whispering hey I'm like <laughs> like <laughs> I know it's about to be on the board. she's like um I need you to call the police again and I'm like girl for what and she's just like I need you to call let me talk actually like normal so y'all can hear me but she's like I need you to call the police because he's outside I need you to call the police because he's outside in my backyard like he's in my driveway like he's in my back drive like I don't know what to do like I need you to call the cops I'm like again why are you calling me like if he actually was out here trying to axe murder your ass do you do why would you be wasting your time calling me to call the cops why are you calling me it made no sense it made absolutely no sense like if you're in actual danger you're gonna call me what am i gonna do i i am not coming to like what so like bro she's like whispering she's like he's outside and he's texting me and he's saying he's not leaving until he, he he can talk to me he's not leaving and he's gonna and he said that like he's gonna sleep out there until I come talk to him and all these things and I was like well I called the cops so the cops are gonna come and they're like I I live like they're gonna be looking for him like just call the cops again and tell them that he's out in the back of your house and like she's like no I can't I can't call the cops like I can't like no like I don't I don't know like I just like finding every excuse and that's what pissed me off about her you would give the the girl a solution like hey call the police no because like no like no actual excuse just no because like no because you just want drama bro she just wanted drama I was like oh my god I'm so mad I'm so mad like I don't know what you want what you're expecting me to do like I don't know what you're expecting me to like accomplish from this situation like I I couldn't get him to chill out the cops are gonna have to I'm not dealing with it I'm, I'm trying to have a good night I'm trying to chill out like I'm trying to get the way away from y'all's bullshit please leave me the fuck alone she's like no listen like he's out there and like my mom is like in her room i'm like so you so there's people in the house there's there's people in, mind you her mama don't play and and her 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 mama's boyfriend was that piece of trash but he didn't either i'm sitting here like so there are people in your house right now there there are people in the house with you right now right yeah yeah there's people in the house you dumb fucking bitch i'm gonna no. fuck you why are you 
again why are you on the phone with me right now why don't you go wake somebody up and tell them hey my crazy ex is outside probably because they wouldn't want to wanted to have to deal with her shit probably but like why are you like there are so many options there are so many different avenues that you could have went before you chose me baby girl why 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 are we here <laughs> why are you on the phone with me right now and so like i'm like bro <laughs> Bro, I was so irritated. I really want, I really want him, him, him to like get better. And I just, I don't know, like, cause like, and bro, she started like justifying his bullshit. Like, this is absolutely insane. This is absolutely crazy. But like, you know, he's been through things and like, he's just, you know, he's been through a lot. Like, you know, I'm like, girl, why are we still, what, call the cops? Girl. Like, what? And so she ends up texting him, like messaging him or whatever and telling him like, hey, um, Kirsten actually called the cops on you so you might want to skedaddle because like I told her I was like listen you're either gonna call the cops you're either gonna call the cops or you're gonna tell him that like I called the cops but he's gonna find out that the cops have been called so like I'm not go I'm I I, I kind of just like was like I'm not feeding into this anymore I'm trying to have a good night so like mm, like let me know what you're gonna do like I want you to be okay so like let me know what you're gonna do I'm about to sign off my friends I'm about to get off this phone and she's just like well, okay, fine. So then she texts him and tells him, like, Kirsten called the cops and because if she can't find an avenue of drama in one, she's gonna go to another. So she's like, now she's like, okay, well, like, I guess, guess we can't play that field, so we gotta play this one. So she's like, okay, well, Kirsten called the cops and, like, now, um, you know, like, they're gonna be looking for you, so, um, I don't, I don't wanna have to, like, call the cops on you, but, like, but like but like leave like it, this is what she's telling me that she's saying to him okay i don't know if she actually said this to him but he ends up leaving her driveway is what she told me because again i'm not there so i don't know if he actually was even fucking there to be completely honest with you but um he ends up leaving out of the driveway is what she says and he like was ducking the cops because the cops aren't just gonna be like okay you threatened to like offer yourself a couple days ago and we can't find you we're gonna give up like no they're gonna like look for you and they found his car they found him and they had to, they ended up having to talk to him and he was like super pissed but like what did you expect exactly that like they were so used to like them having friends that were on the same type of toxic bullshit that they were on and because I'm like, mm, I will call the cops in 2.5 seconds. I don't care. Like, nobody's going to be offing themselves on my watch, bitch. Like, I was like, we're not playing that game. Like, y'all can play this game all day long together as a, as a couple. In, in the privacy of your own home, y'all can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Don't drag me into it and expect me not to drag myself the fuck up out and cause a, a whole scene. Because what, what are we doing right now? We knew from the beginning that nothing was going to happen, but you just, you needed an, a moment. Bro, I was so mad. And it was like, like, I don't, I never understood why she was so like and enamored by him like just she loved that man like i don't get why she loved him so much because like bro what was there to love like this man like did so many toxic things to her and she did so many toxic things to him they were so bad for each other bro so bad for each other when i tell you that he like did something to her loved one's remains bro like and she still was like mm -hmm man are we are we dead ass are we folks are we are, are we folks serious and that's why i was always so angry because it's like you treated me like absolute dog shit and this man actually treated you like dog shit like you could have gave him that same energy there have been times where i have walked in on this man fucking kissing and making out with so many people in their motherfucking house when they were to fucking together so many fucking times okay that they both have just been on some rah rah shit and i'm just like having to mediate bro i was so happy to be up out of that fucking friendship i was so happy to be done dealing with her and even after like there was a point in time whenever i stopped talking to her and then became friends with her again because there was that that whole situation that happened like i got i got back being cool with her and she was still talking about this man like this happened before i stopped being friends with her i stopped being friends with her i get back being friends with her bro she's still talking about this man she's still talking about oh like he's doing all of these different things like he's just i like but he's gonna change like i don't know he messaged me and like he has this new girl and like but she could never do it the way i do it like he has this, this new girl but like little does she know like stupid i'm like girl where where are we going with this what is what does this contribute to your life like what are you really like what are you what are you gaining from this girl absolutely nothing but yeah that was the story okay that was the whole that was the end of the story the cops ended up finding him and he had i don't know what exactly happened after that. he had to, after that he had to talk to them i don't know if they like ticketed him or he or maybe he did get 302 i don't know what the fuck happened i can't honestly remember but bro 
I don't know. I'm just so glad that I don't have any friends anymore. <laughs> so glad. Okay. <laughs> I love you all so much and I will check you out on the next one. And I just hope everybody's having the best day, living their best lives and putting themselves first, bitch. All right. Love you guys. Bye.